Today's topic for Math with Miss B is adding algebraic expressions. In this video, we will apply the properties of operations to strategy as strategies to add algebra linear expressions with rational coefficients. So in previous videos, we've looked at solving algebraic expressions. And as a reminder, that is when we are given what the variable equals and are asked to solve for it. We have looked at the distributive property, which is when we share a number just outside parentheses with the operations inside through multiplication. And we have looked at uh, simplified algebraic expressions, also called combining like terms. The links for all of these videos will be posted in the description below if you'd like to review them. So today we're looking at alge adding algebraic expressions. And this is very similar to the simplifying algebraic expressions. It's just set up in a different manner. So when we simplified algebraic expressions, we grouped um, the different terms together. So the 3x would be grouped with the 6x and the plus 2 would be grouped with the plus 7 so that we could get 9x plus 9. Now in adding algebraic expressions, the method we're looking at today, um, we're going to be stacking our problems. So instead of lining them up together, we are going to write them stacked. So the 6x would be written stacked under the 3x, and the 7 would be written under the 2. We would put a plus sign in front because this is a positive 6x. 3x plus 6x is 9x, and 2 plus 7 is 9. So we will be using this stacking method um, on our next set of examples, and we're learning this because it makes solving subtraction problems easier. Okay, so here's some examples. So with this first one, we want to put a one in front of our x to show that it's got a coefficient of one. Okay, we will now stack. So we'd write our 3x under our 1x and our positive 6 under our 10. 3x is positive, so we'll put in a plus sign. 10 plus 6 is 16. It's a positive. 1x plus 3x gives us 4x. Okay, this next one has some negatives thrown in. So we, it is important to remember our integer rules. Okay, so the negative 2x will stack under the negative 4x and the plus 8 under the positive 3. In this case, we want to change our subtraction into plus the opposite using our subtraction integer rules. So a negative 4x plus a negative 2x is a negative 6x. 3 plus 8 is 11. Okay, let's move on. We have negative 5x plus 4 plus negative 1 times x minus 1. So there's a couple of things we have to do before we can get started. First, we have to know that this x needs a coefficient. When we don't have one, the coefficient is 1. And the second is we need to recognize that this is the distributive property. And before we can combine things that are similar, we do have to distribute. So we're going to distribute the negative 1 to the negative 1x and the negative 1 to the minus 1. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my first set of parentheses. So negative 1 times negative 1 times 1x is a negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a plus 1. Now let's stack. Okay, I'm going to change my subtract 1 into plus a negative 1. So negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6x. 4 plus 1 is 5. 
Okay, let's look at two more examples. Okay, so we have 17, 2x minus 5 plus negative x plus 4. So we want to distribute our 17 first to the 2x and to the negative 5. And I'm also going to drop in a 1 between my negative and my x to show that it is a negative 1x. So 17 times 2 is 34x minus 17 times 5 is 85. Drop in my parentheses plus negative 1x plus 4. We're going to write them stacked negative 1x plus 4. Okay, so 34 minus 1, that is something we can do. We get 33x. 85 plus 4, now we see that this 85 is a negative, so different signs tell us to subtract. 85 minus 4 is 81. We have more negatives, so it's a minus 81. Now our last example is a little bit different. It's asking us to find the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral. Remember, we find the perimeter by adding all the sides. Uh, so we're going to start on one side and simply write down all of the sides in a stacked method. Okay, so there's one 6x plus 3. Here's the other. We have a 7x plus 3. And then the last one is this 5x, and I'm going to put, just to help keep things organized, plus 0. Because there's no constant, but adding 0 doesn't change. Okay, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. 19 plus 5 is 24x. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So our perimeter would be 24x plus 9. We can't find a specific number until we have given what x equals and then we can substitute and solve. But that is how we add um, linear expressions or you can call them algebraic expressions using the stacking method. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day.